Hey everybody, so this is going to be my January 2013 beauty favorites. And this month I tried out quite a number of products, I guess because Christmas just passed so I hauled a lot of different things. So I ended up just trying so many different things this month, mixing it up with foundations and blushes and eye products and hair products and just everything. And surprisingly, I didn't fall in love with a lot of things. Um, I do have another, a number of things here that I'm going to go over that are my favorites this month, but not a whole ton of them necessarily are new things. So yeah, I just found that really interesting. Tried out a whole bunch of things, but didn't fall in love with a lot of them. So I guess that's a good thing. It'll save me the money from buying it again. I didn't hate a lot of products. I just wasn't totally in love with a lot of products. So these are the ones that I just found myself using a lot this month and I think I'll just start in order kind of of how I do my makeup because that's just how I think to do things in order if that makes sense. So the first product that I have fallen in love with this month is from Hard Candy <clears throat> and I've tried a lot of products from Hard Candy recently. I think I might actually do a video reviewing all the different Hard Candy products that I've tried, which ones I like and which ones I don't and why, but this is the Hard Candy Sheer Envy Skin Perfecting Primer. It looks like this. And I've never actually owned a primer before. You put this on before your foundation. Um, I have tried out primers before, like my mom has one that I really like and things like that, but I never owned one. And I saw this one, I thought I'd pick it up because I do like quite a few hard candy products. The back says, perfecting primer evens out skin tone, <clears throat> excuse me, and creates a flawless, smooth finish to skin. So yeah, you just put it on under your foundation. And what I like about it is it's got this cool texture that just makes your skin completely smooth so that when you apply foundation it goes on so much easier and also I don't know if it's that this seeps into your pores so that your foundation can't I'm guessing that's what happens but I find um, I have kind of like larger pores around my nose here and I find that when I use this first the foundation just sits nicer on top of the skin it's just a better finish overall whether or not it uh, makes your makeup stay longer I don't know I don't typically wear makeup all day long I'm not a long wearer of makeup so I can't really speak to that but but the finish and the application is a lot nicer with this. So that's for that. For blush, this month I have been using this color a lot. It's from e.l.f. and it's called Tickled Pink. And it's just a pretty baby pink color. I guess because I'm so pale right now in the winter, I'm wearing it right now. I just find that it's perfect for my skin tone. It's not overly too blushy, if that makes sense. So I've been using this. And then the second blush, um, this came in that Sephora in the Glow Kit that I hauled last month and I didn't know if I'd actually be a fan of this but turns out I am. It's from Tarte and it's called Flush Cheek Stain um, and it looks like that and it's one of those sticks like that and as you can see I've got some BB cream on it but the reason I like this is because for those days if I'm just taking my kids to preschool or I'm not really having a makeup day, I tend to put on um, my BB cream because it just evens out my skin tone and then because my BB cream is such a thick cream, like my face is, um, how do I explain this, my face is, I guess, creamy afterwards. I just really like using this because it just blends into the creaminess of the BB cream. Like, I don't feel like putting a powder blush on top because I feel like the powder will stand out because I have such a dewy finish with the BB cream. Um, and this is just a really pretty natural color. I just like dab it on my cheeks and kind of press it in and that's it and it's really, really fast. So I've been liking that. And then, again from that kit, a highlighter that I really like. There's a few that I'm actually a fan of, but this one's probably my favorite. It's from Lorac, and it's perfectly lit. And it looks like this. Um, this highlighter just complements my skin tone really nicely. It's just like a, it's a yellow-based champagne color. It obviously doesn't go on that pigmented when it's on your face, but there we go just looks really pretty on my skin and I just find that it's not too overpowering and it just I don't know it just goes on really well so this has been a favorite I've used this the most okay and for eyes sorry my voice is raspy I don't know what's going on um, I picked up this eyeshadow from L'Oreal it's the color and infall infallible infallible I don't know um, and it's an hour hourglass beige this is what the packaging looks like I'll let it focus and there's the color there so it's a pressed powder pigment um, eyeshadow. It looks like that. I've been eyeing it up for quite a while now because I just love these champagne-y colors. Um, and it, oh, see how pretty that is? But this is on the pricier end. I can't believe how much this was for an eyeshadow. I don't remember how much it was. I want to say upwards of $10 for one pigment. So I just kept looking at it. I was like, no, I can wait, I can wait. And finally I just bought it. I got it on sale. I think it was on sale for $10. 
I really think so. I could be wrong, but I really think so. Um, but I'm really happy with it. The pigment is great. It has great, it catches the light really well. It's super shimmery. It's right up my aisle. And yeah, I've been using this almost other day, every day. And then another sparkly product that I love. I got this for Christmas as well. It's the Lorac 3D Liquid Luster. And it's the little droplets. I wore this on New Year's, and then we just had a girls' night out recently with my friends. See, it comes on a little droplet. Um, maybe I'll swatch it for you. And I wore it out as well. Ooh, I put on quite a bit. Seriously, you don't need much. That's like not even a drop there. And I just blended it out. <laughs> and it's on my finger there too. It's basically, if you love sparkles, it it's you need to have it. Like it makes any eyeshadow incredibly sparkly. Um, and it was just perfect for New Year's and going out, and I love it. I absolutely love it. You don't need anything to stick it down with. You just use your finger because it just, it sticks on its own, so it's great. Okay. Oh, now I have stuff all over my hands. Another hard candy product. This is, if you've been watching a couple of my videos this past month, I've been saying that I've fallen in love with a new eyeliner from the drugstore. I have been using the e.l.f. one, but this one is from hard candy, and it's called Stroke of Gorgeous, Stroke of Gorgeous Felt Tip Eyeliner Pen. That's the packaging there. This one's in brown. And I do like brown a lot of the time. It's a super dark brown. I'll show you it. It looks like that. I do need to pick up black, but every time I go to Walmart, hard candy is sold at Walmart, by the way. Every time I go there, they're out of the black. So I guess other people have caught on. I think this is around three something, three dollars and something cents. So it's super affordable. I've been using it almost every day for like two and a half months now, and it's not showing any signs of wearing out so that's a good thing so I want to pick this up I think in black and purple when I head back to Walmart I want to do that okay my goodness this is a hard candy haul I swear this wasn't my hard candy review I just a lot of things I've been using is from that line this month this is the a thousand lashes fiberized lash weave mascara and looks like that kind of cool packaging and I've always wanted to try a fiber type mascara let me see if it'll pick up the actual fibers here on camera for you. I don't know if you can see but there's little tiny fibers in there and the idea is that when you put on mascara the fibers are supposed to stick to your lashes and then it can lengthen them. <laughs> Honestly it really doesn't work that way for me at all. I don't know if I'm just using it wrong but it doesn't do anything for my top lashes. I don't like it for that at all but I did notice when I use it on my bottom lashes it's like the perfect bottom lash mascara so I am going through it for that which is nice I'm not just wasting it I'm, I am using it for that and I don't have any mascara that compares it does it it puts on like the lightest coat on your bottom lashes and totally separates them and yeah it just doesn't make them cakey or spidery at all it's just absolutely perfect for bottom lashes but kind of disappointing it doesn't work like it's supposed to but I thought I would mention it for that because I have used it like every day for that Okay, that's pretty much it for makeup. Um, as far as taking off my makeup, I ran into this when I was in Walmart the other day. And you know how I use those Kirkland face wipes to remove my makeup? I really do like those, but sometimes when I have a lot of eyeshadow on, or I'm using waterproof mascara, or I put down eye primer, just like heavy eye makeup, it, it's a little bit harder to take it off with those. It still does it, I just don't like to rub my eye over and over again. So I saw this, it's Andrea Eyes Makeup Remover Pads. This is a moisturizing one, ideal for sensitive skin. They had a few different kinds. It looks like that. And I think this was only a couple dollars. It was super, super cheap. How many are in here? 65. They're little tiny pads, and when I first picked them up, they feel kind of dry. I was like, oh, maybe this dried out on me. But as soon as I wipe it across my eye, you can feel it's got some kind of oiliness in it. If you don't like oily type um, eye makeup remover, you won't like this. But literally, I just have to go swipe, 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 and all my makeup's off, waterproof or not. So, yeah, I don't have to use this every day, but when I have super, like, it's not super a lot. When I have a lot of eyeshadow on, it works really well. So I wanted to mention that. And then as far as like body type lotions, I've been using the same face creams for months now, so I don't have any favorites in that area. But it is super, super dry being winter, and I find myself reaching for this a lot. It's um, from the Body Shop, and it's a body butter. I have these in a few different flavors, flavors, scents, I guess. This is the coconut one. It's just a body cream. It's really, really thick, as you can see. They smell amazing. If you've never tried body butter, you definitely should take a look at it. At least go in the store and try it out. They're extremely moisturizing. They smell amazing and I just like the finish on your skin. So I've been using this all this month. Okay and then for nails, um, I can't really narrow down a favorite 
nail color because I've been wearing I always switch up my nail colors probably like twice a week so I don't really have a favorite color this month but I do have a favorite top coat this is also from Walmart and it's called Pro FX long wearing UV top coat and it's huge look how big it is I'll bring it in closer so you can see the wording so this guy's gonna last me forever but if you watched in one of my previous favorite videos I favorited favorited the uh, sesh Vite top coat, which I really do love. It's a really glossy finish. It dries super, super fast. I love Sesh Feet, but that warning on the back about causing um, problems with like babies in utero or something like that, it just freaked me out. It just, it was too much for me. Like, no offense to any of you that use it. I just, I didn't feel comfortable using it. So this, thankfully, does not have that warning and it has the same effect. I wouldn't say it dries as fast. I still use my OPI drying drops on top of this, but it's the same finish. It's super glossy, um, really shiny. I actually had a few people ask me if I had like the shellac gel nails on, so I figured that was a good sign. And since I've been loving this so much, um, when I was back at Walmart, I got this a couple months ago. But I got this. It's the same company, Pro FX Mineral Botanical Strengthener. And again, it's in a huge bottle. These are really inexpensive. They're $5, I believe. Um, and this is for the days like today when I took my nail polish off and I just want my nails to heal a little bit and to, to just repair themselves before I paint them again because it's not good to have nail polish on them all the time. So this just helps strengthen them and eliminate the peeling and chipping that happens. So that's that. And then my last product is a hair product. And it's a dry shampoo. And I've been liking the Suave dry shampoo that I mentioned like six months ago. I still do like that stuff, but I wanted to try this one because I heard so many good things about it. And it's the brand Batiste dry shampoo. I just picked up this new bottle because the other one I had was a little travel size, but I love the travel size so much that I picked up this bottle. This one's um big and bouncy XXL volume, volume... Oh, that's in French. Anyways, it's a volumizing dry shampoo, and I haven't tried it yet, so I can't say if it really does volumize. Clearly, I need volumizing products in my hair. I have really fine, thin, and not very much hair, so I thought I should pick up this one. The other one I had was the Coconut Tropical one. It smells amazing. It doesn't leave any residue in your hair. Like, there's so many dry shampoos I hate. It um, works really well. It does take out the grease from my hair. It just does what it's supposed to. That's why I like it. It's a dry shampoo. It leaves your hair feeling like you shampooed. Well, maybe not as completely clean, but it does the closest job that I've found in a shampoo, a dry shampoo. So this is my favorite for the month. Maybe next month I'll let you know how I like the XXL volume, if it really did volumize, but this brand in particular. I think that's it for my favorites this month. Um, let me know if you have any questions down below, and that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!